This leak really needs to be fixed. I hope the weather doesn't make it worse. I should go to the fifth floor to return Mr. Spade's film roll. Yeah, it's just... I slipped on the puddle by the restrooms. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I probably should have cleaned that. No, no. It it's my fault. I should have asked Eugene to repair the leak. Which floor? Oh, uh, sixth. Thanks. What's the big rush? I need to bring this to our VIP guest. The one who rented the entire floor. Oh! Is it that British man I keep hearing about? He's sort of a celebrity, isn't he? He sure acts like one. I wouldn't want to be that poor assistant he keeps shouting at. I wish I was assigned to clean his room. Can you imagine the weird things I'd find? Be careful what you wish for. I wouldn't be surprised if the man kept a few skeletons in his closet. Can't you tell me who he is? I've never actually met him. I always talk to his assistant. Only Bernard knows his identity. Oh. Um. I do have a suspicion, though. Oh? But I'm, I'm not sure I should say it. Can't you at least give me a hint? Hmm. Okay, let me think. Whew. Saved by the bell. Hey, come on. Don't leave me hanging. Let's just say... I like to prolong the suspense. Wait. Is that the hint? Hmm. Who knows? <laughs> Fair enough. Have fun up there. You too. I should return Mr. Spade's film roll. Room 505 is on my list anyway. I'm sure I'll find more laundry to add to the pile. Mr. Spade? Mr. Spade? Maybe I should call Beth or Andrew. They'll, they'll know what to do. I hope.
Clarington Hotel reception desk, Beth speaking. What can I do for you on this very fine day? Beth, I need your help. Sophie? What's going on? I, I think Mr. Spade's stalking me while I work. Really? I knew it! You did? I mean, I knew there was something fishy about him. He just has creep written all over his face, you know? How did you find out? He took pictures of me. I... I found them hanging over the bathtub. He set up a kind of... dark room. Pictures of you? Doing what? Um... I can't believe I'm about to say this, but... Sometimes... when I clean the rooms... I... get a little curious. And, um... You know... Snoop through our guest stuff. Sneaky. And Mr. Spade caught you in the act, I suppose? Yes. I think... I think we should call the police. No! That's a terrible idea! But... Sophie, that man has pictures of you running your hands through people's stuff! But I didn't steal anything. I was just snooping, I swear. I know, I know, but... Say a client reports something missing. Those pictures would put a big red target on your back. So, I just... leave? Do nothing? Do nothing? No. But... it'd be smarter to wait until you have the whole story. Or at least more than you have now. Before making a move. I've been in dark rooms before. Setting one up in a space that isn't made for that takes time and effort. Wait. You're a photographer? <laughs> no. I was there to look at pictures a photographer took of me. Look, all I mean to say is there's no way he set all of this up just for a couple of pictures. There has to be more. Well, I didn't look through the entire room, but there is a safe here. I bet you anything there'll be more pictures in there. Do you have the safe combination then? I'm pretty sure it's locked. Mm, give me a minute. Idiots. What? I can't find the combination list. The night staff's probably lost it again. Anyway, we always ask that clients write down their code somewhere so they don't have to call reception a dozen times. Maybe you can have a look around the room, and I call you if Mr. Creep comes back. You know, so you can get out of there in time. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, it's nothing. Oh, and Beth? Mm -hmm. Please keep this between us. Of course. Okay. If reception gave him a code, maybe he wrote it down. Somewhere. Oratory. I just went there for the first time and God, it, it's been years, hasn't it? I remember this sale. I picked up that new winter jacket for mom.
Harry's diner, too. Were we ever there at the same time? I'd forget my own head if I didn't write everything down. I guess we have that in common. Locked. There has to be a key somewhere. Did you intend for me to discover your little dark room? Or did this just fall down? No combination, no entry. How are you supposed to support yourself when no one will give you a job or a place to live? You're pawning off your possessions? What do you need the money for? Quest to move to 507. Why did you want to change rooms? That 
Letter from Bernard. Was there anything on the back? Yeah, no surprise Bernard denied the request. Mrs. Beaumont's been here so long, we could probably just put her name on the door at this point. <laughs> Who knew Bernard could be nice? Yeah, no surprise Bernard denied the request. Mrs. Beaumont's been here so long, we could probably just put her name on the door at this point. Could that be a reminder for the safe combination? Could that be a reminder for the safe combination? There may be something in that suitcase. If only I could find the key. I should bring that back to my cart. Oh, I left the clean towels on my cart. Oh, I left the clean towels on my cart. Another day, another dirty dish to pick up. Let's put those on the bathroom shelf. Oh, I left the clean towels on my cart. One man's trash is another maid's trash. Morgan, is that your real name? Why did you check in under Mr. Spade? Thirty four Summer Street, Lindsay's address. Is he here? He... what? No. Beth, you said you'd call if Mr. Spade was coming back to his room. Oh yeah, I did say that. Sorry for the fright. Oh my god, Beth. I nearly had a heart attack when I heard the phone ring. I didn't mean for it. I was just so caught up in the thrill of it all. I had to check in. Did you find more pictures of you? 
No, I haven't. But I did find something else. Yeah? He's got a kind of yarn map of Montreal on the wall. A yarn map? And where does it lead to? Lots of places. Most of them I've visited recently. Merde. What's the deal with this guy? I think you may be using an alias. I found some evidence that points to his real name being Paul Morgan. <laughs> well, he's certainly not the first man to check into a hotel under a fake name. Is it really common practice? It is, when the man in question is married, but the woman accompanying him isn't. Or at least, not to him. Hmm. Considering the state of his room, I doubt Mr. Morgan was expecting any visitors. Did you find anything else? He seems to be in love with this woman who doesn't love him back. You mean you? No, no, someone else. I found lots of letters addressed to a woman named Lindsay, but she returned them all to sender, unopened. Are you sure it's love and not obsession? Maybe he stalked her like he's stalking you. I don't know. Whatever it is, I find it strange she didn't open the letters before sending them back. I would have... I had a look at them first. <laughs> of course you would have. So, is that all you found then? I'll know more once I open the safe. Oh, so you found the combination? Yeah, sort of. I'm impressed. Well done, Arsène Lupin. What? Uh, never mind. Don't let me keep you. Okay, I'll call you back. Yeah, you better. I won't call again unless Mr. Morgan returns. For real this time. All right, thanks. If I'm lucky, the key to that suitcase will be around here somewhere. Is this? Or of the Clarington? That's... That's my schedule. Just how long have you been watching me? Something tells me you won't be missing this.
99th Infantry Division. 99.
storm must be getting worse. I hope Mom's not too bored with it. Not right now, Sophie. What do we have here? Hmm. You spent 10 years in a psychiatric hospital. And it looks like you left with a long list of diagnoses. And date of discharge, 1957. Hmm. Taken in the lobby. You're going through their trash? You really want to find out what M and H are up to, don't you? Sophie, you should probably put this down. Now. I 
don't think I'll need this again. Linda's been putting these everywhere lately. It's weird that Bernard allows it. M and H. Maybe Beth could find them in a logbook. Clarington Hotel reception desk, Beth speaking. It's me. Oh, hold on. Andrew, Andrew, cover for me, will you? What's going on? Hey, Tintin, just do it. Sorry about that. So, I take it you open Morgan's safe? What was in it? A journal. His journal? Does he say why he's stalking you? No, but it seems he's stalking two other people as well. Oh, who are they? They're guests. I don't know their names, though. I... I was hoping you could find them in the logbook. Well, Snoopy, although it may seem like it, I'm not actually clairvoyant, so... I'll need something to narrow the search. Do you know anything about them? Mr. Morgan refers to them as H and M. Well, that could mean a lot of things. It could be their initials, or... I don't know, husband and mistress. Oh, I, I hadn't thought of that. Yeah. I'll need a little more to go on. Hmm. I found out that Mr. Morgan made a request to be transferred to room 507, but it was denied because- That's Mrs. Beaumont's room. Exactly. Hmm. Why change rooms when his entire setup is in 505? I'm not sure. I, I just thought it might be related. Maybe, but... Hmm, would you look at that. There's a couple staying in room 509, Hector and Marcella Cruz. Hector and Marcella. H and M. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Do you know anything about the Cruzes? Well, I saw them come in and out of the hotel a few times. Called a taxi for them once. The missus does the smiling and the other frowns a lot. Nothing to write home about. Do you have room 509 on your to-do list, by any chance? I do, actually. Then maybe you go clean it and have a little look-see? Yeah, nothing unusual here. Just a maid cleaning a room. That's my girl. I'll call you if I find anything. Just be careful, okay? I will. I promise. He's in the break room again. I'll need my keys to enter room 509. I should probably check the break room. Come on, Sophie. That door won't magically unlock just because you want it to. Hmm, I think I have all the supplies I need. something in here I should move on for now but maybe I can come back later if I have a spare moment do not disturb 
Well, that's one less room to clean today. I won't complain. Does carrying this everywhere really make us better maids? Bernard seems to think so. I hope you aren't eating those beans. have all the supplies I need.